So this problem says there are four women and five men on a committee. What is the ratio of the number of men to the total number of people on the committee? So when it comes to determining a ratio, we need to be aware that there are several different ways on which to write a ratio. One of the first ways that you can do that is by using a semicolon. Another way to do that is to actually write it out in this notation here and doing A to B. And the most commonly used notation for a ratio is that of a fraction. Now when it comes to writing a ratio as a fraction, the first number that they mention or the first thing that they ask for is going to be your numerator. And the second number that they give you or the second number that they ask you is going to be your denominator. So what we need to do is we need to read through this problem again and we need to figure out what our ratio is going to look like. So it says there are four women and five men on a committee. They want the ratio of the number of men to the total number of people on the committee. So the ratio they're asking for, they said they want the total number of men. So since they mentioned the total number of men first, that's going to be our numerator. And then the total number of people on the committee is going to be our denominator. Right? So number of people. So let's see. In the first sentence, it said there are four women and five men. So since men is going to be our numerator, we can go ahead and take that five and input that there. And for our denominator, it wants to know the total number of people, which they did not just straight out let us know how many people, but we do know that there are four women and five men, and together those people make up the entire committee. So four plus five is just a nine. So there's nine total people on the committee, five of them being men, so our ratio is the fraction five over nine.